This week, we're hunting the redheads. You better be talking about turkeys. Oh, of course, honey. You know me. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. You know, <laughs> we headed down, got rid of all the cold weather, headed down to Florida with Happy Kempfer of Osceola Outfitters. And let me tell you something. You know, people, true turkey hunters, I mean, when they're going for their slam, you know, Osceola, everyone you hear about it, Osceola's probably one of the toughest. The hardest ones to get, yeah. Yep, and... uh. And a big part of it's private land. Right. A lot of it is, is I mean, it's the bird is in, in central Florida mm -hmm. and maybe a little southern, but I mean, that's it. Right. So it makes it, it's, it's an isolated subspecies, but <laughs> turkeys, oh my gosh. Happy and on the Kemper farms, on the family farm, they have a ton of them. They have so many that folks, even I can get one. We love redheads. <laughs> Turkey, that is. Osceola, one of the hardest subspecies of turkeys to hunt for here in North America. Why? It's not that they're any tougher than a wise old eastern. You don't have to chase up and down the kings like with the Merriams. The terrain that most reels call home is dry. And believe us, there is nothing dry about hunting the Osceola. Downing would be considered a very small region of the country. Florida is where the subspecies lives and calls home, nestled amongst the palm meadows, cypress heads, and open fields. So in other words, yes, we did find a place that even I can get an Osceola gobbler with my bow. The place is Osceola Outfitters, in the middle of some of the finest turkey hunting anywhere in North America. Hoppy Kempfer, who knows his birds, deer, gators, and hogs like no one else we've ever met, is always pumped up to get you on the 25,000 private acre farm. And he knows what it takes to get you close, real close, super close. Well, close enough for even me to slam one of those magnificent birds. Actually, the ranch has been in the family's name since the late 1800s, and here at Osceola Outfitters, you'll be hunting on private private land, and only private land, and uh, our hogs are very plentiful because we manage the, the wildlife here on the ranch. We do hunts for not only wild boar, but uh, alligators, white-tailed deer, and the Osceola turkey. 
Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Can you believe we're sitting our double bull blind? We got Hoppy next to us. We got beautiful, I mean, just everything around us. And she's got like three town loads of birds in front of her to choose from. This just ain't fair. It's Italian. <laughs> and then that hog. <laughs> what was that? Okay, turkey oh, hog. He's got to let this smell. It's blow run everything off. <laughs> Look at that. Nice big beard on him. Oh, I didn't even notice those. Good spurs on him. Beautiful bird. Oh, my first Osceola. <laughs> Look at that. Did they get him with a bow? Did they get him with a bow yet? Beautiful. Wow. Well, thank you so much again, You're Hoppy. Welcome. You're welcome. Beautiful. How black his shoes are. Did you yeah. see that shot that I put on that bird? Yeah, it was great. I mean, that, I know that's a long shot for a turkey, but wow, I pinned him. He went down. That's my first Osceola. I'm pretty excited about it. Let me yeah, tell you. Yeah, you should be. Okay, well, listen, I, I won't brag anymore. I want to talk about sage. This next hunt Yeah, let's talk more watch, about sage. What do you think, huh? <laughs> this next hunt we're going to watch is Hoppy Sun Sage. He's six years old, and he's going to go out and take his first Osceola, I believe, with his crossbow. Can you believe it? You've got to watch this hunt. Sage, uh, he was a little unsure where to shoot, to shoot it in the body, so we're going to we're going to try to take a head shot, head and neck shot today. I told him it's either going to be hit or miss. We've got this bow sided in, 20 yards, it's dead on the money. You feel like you can hit a turkey in the head or neck with it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, stay with us. Uh, we've got the, the blind all set up here. We, we kind of helped camouflage it with some palmettas. We're going to see if we can uh, call a turkey in. You know, talking about sage and watching him in the field like that, we want to commend Hoppy and all the parents out there that get their children involved in the outdoors. See, I mean, whether it's with a, a, a gun, a bow, a crossbow, it shouldn't matter. Folks, let's get them outside, get them away from the TV sets, playing all their little computer games, get them off the computers, and get them out here, because you do that, you got nothing to worry about. Alright, 
this is what, you're going to think I'm nuts, but I think this is what just happened. Sage shot this turkey. He's hit him in the neck. We saw the feather. I've seen feathers fly. Is that where you think you hit him in the neck? Yes. All right. It didn't break his neck. The turkey flew. I saw him go up in a tree 100, 125 yards away. We sit here watching. I'm just thinking, well, maybe we nicked him or something. Let's just see what happens. We heard a few odd noises come out of the turkey. Um, wasn't sure it was a turkey at first at all. All of a sudden, we see the turkey come down, but he's not flying good. He just comes straight down, and we hear a big thump over here. All we can do is go around there and see if we've, if we've got the turkey. That turkey right there in that pine tree. And I saw him come down. He's in these bushes right here somewhere. Why don't you go this way? I'll walk right up to here, okay? <laughs> How about that, buddy, Ro? There he is, Ralph. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Ralph. Ralph. <laughs> think Ralph will be tickled for you? He did. He fell right out of the pine. Right there's the pine. Just like we thought. Big old boy right here. <laughs> Look at there. Look. Yeah, yeah. You'd have been a half inch over. You'd have broke his neck. You go, Sage. You're the man. <laughs> I'm telling you, that little guy put a hurt on that redhead. He there. sure did. And let me tell you, Hoppy, we commend you for taking Sage out there and getting him out there in the woods, like all the fathers and mothers should be doing with their Absolutely. kids. Absolutely. You know, it's just, it's amazing to see. I mean, look at the thrill. You, you don't get that playing a game on the computer or playing no. TV. That's what this sport is all about. You better believe it. And now, I guess you're about ready. Is it your turn? Do you want to go hunting? Yes. I'm dying to go hunting. And, and, and I did, just... did you have a good time down there? Absolutely. I had a blast. I mean... A blast. Okay, no, you didn't have a shotgun. You had your bow. How many times did that bow go? But wait a minute. You've got to understand that I am very... You know, I try to get as much out of the experience as I possibly can. So I'll shoot, like, above them. I'll shoot below them. I'll shoot to the left of them, to the right of them. Because I am waiting for that perfect shot that I can me, just pin that gobbler. And... He is so full of baloney. <laughs> He has the hardest time hitting birds. Check this out. I want a gun. This morning, we have a major storm coming in. It's starting to pour. Thank goodness for our double bull blinds. We're staying a little bit dry, but I've had a very uneventful morning. We had a great morning as far as turkeys coming through. We had a pile of Osceolas come through. I mean, just incredible. The wind's picking up, and uh, let me tell you, you know, we try to teach you every, we try to tell everybody, always check your equipment. And you know what? I flubbed up this morning. Yep, I didn't check my equipment. And yesterday traveling and this morning traveling through some of the rough roads, my sight actually came a little loose. Not a little, a lot. Check your equipment every time before you go out. Oh, am I going to get picked on for this one. Well, as you guys know, what did I try to say? Ralph, as he was trying to say it, you know, oh, I got to get as much for the, you know, for the bang down there. Well, Ralph, <laughs> come on out of there. <laughs> I'm just trying to get as much out of the experience as I possibly can. It's as simple as that. Okay, let's continue on.
I don't know if you can believe this or not, but I just finally got the monkey off my back. And I think that that gobbler is a bit bigger than Vicky's. And he didn't go but 20 yards. That arrow zipped right through him and unbelievable. But we gotta call Hoppy because he is not gonna believe that I finally did it. Yes, I didn't miss this bird. He come right in just like he said and unbelievable. After all my trials and errors, I got my first Osceola with a bull. Happy! <laughs> oh, oh. Can you believe it, buddy? Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I got it. Right here, look it. He come right around, came right through the decoys. We didn't get out because we were waiting for you. Did you see those birds take off? I seen two hens leave. Yep. <laughs> Good job, my man. Look at this! He's got a good beard. Oh, I, we didn't even come. We didn't want to spook the other birds. Because with, with the hunters coming in, we thought, why leaf? Look at this bird. Nice. <laughs> Look at this bird. Oh, he's got an 11-inch beard on him. What an Osceola! Congratulations. You finally I mean, got your bird. What do you mean, Vic, you, like I tried to tell and explain to everybody is, I'll shoot around the little ones to get those really big gobblers. Yeah, right. Actually, there's a good point and a lesson learned. Who? What happened when Ralph missed his bird was... This is not an excuse. This is the truth now. It's the truth. He didn't bring his soft case. He only had his big hard case and he didn't take it with us in the truck that morning. Put his bow in the bed of the truck, got to our... On our gear, our, on our, our double bow blind, and, uh... and didn't check it and his sight came loose. And you know, Of course, I found it very amusing, but hey, what are you going to do? That's why she's not hunting with me anymore. Yeah, right. Listen, we hope you enjoyed this week's show, and we want to especially thank Hoppy Kempfer and the family just because... Yeah, first class all the way. They are great people down there. Southern hospitality at its finest. and Deer, hogs, alligator, turkeys. You name it, they got it, and it's all free roaming, and it's just what an incredible place to hunt and share some good times and memories. You know, we hope you enjoyed this week's show. Until next week. Same time. Same station. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. You got you a nice turkey, didn't you? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, are you happy? Are you happy? That's a nice one. You guys have heard me talk about it before. Uh, it's important to get your kids out into the, into the outdoors, whether they're hunting, shooting sports, BB guns, it doesn't matter. But, uh, you know, Sage has been hunting with me since he was two and a half years old. Not, not necessarily hunting himself, but he's been out with me. He's, uh, he's probably a little more advanced than a lot of kids would be at his age, but uh, you know what? I know where my son is. Do you know where your kids are?